Still got love for your mommy. I know you wanna be somebody, even if you gotta leave somebody. Hi besties, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so we can be besties. So this is the set we're getting into today guys. I'm so proud of how it came out, like girl. And this set is really trending on Instagram. So I don't really have any specific, um, like nail tech to shout out today or like an inspo pick um i want to say i may be seeing it on um jail xxx mail on tiktok first but then it, like it's everywhere on instagram if you just search Coraline nails boom boom like hundreds of nail techs have already <laughs> recreated this set so i don't really know who made the initial set but I was so excited to add my little twist on it because it came out so good. Like y'all, I really outdid myself. I keep getting better and better. Like really practice does make improvement, guys. Check out my videos from last year. Check them out. You will see how far we've came. The girlies have came a long way. So today we're doing a Jellic set on my mom so of course i'm doing what i want to do <laughs> um i asked her i almost did a long set on her girl this is medium length this is a medium length set i really wanted to do long but i know she can't function and really this is long for her this is real long for her also take note if you watch me apply the nail tips carefully my mom has very short nail beds so very little amount of product to be applied okay who when I tell you it has taken some practice to get used to you know her very short tiny nail beds and then put these old long nails on girl they're gonna pop off <laughs> but the longer the nail the better but we still making it do what it do in all honesty let's see how long let me look up how long these nails been on because they've been hanging on maybe one thing about it my gel x prep do not play okay guys i just looked it up i did these nails on october 3rd it is october 22nd get into it with the three weeks get into it girl I'm waiting for my mom right now. I literally texted her and said, can you give me a photo update? Like, let's see the growth. Let's see the retention. Cause the retention is always giving six weeks, but get back over here so we can change the setup. And I know she can't function with these long nails. These are really too long for her. So the next set will be boohoo short and boring. But you know, I like to get my work out there and she ain't stopped hitting me up since she done walked out my chair. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all every single day. She is saying like, oh, can you DM this person? Can you email this person? Like, here's their contact information. Like, they want you to do that. Girl, <laughs> wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait a minute. But that's the best advertisement, guys. Get out there and do some nails. Who cares if it's a little free 99? Because guess what? It makes you more money in the long run. You got to see the vision. You really got to see the vision. I've gotten so many orders, so many contacts, like, because my work is out walking. Like, you feel me? Like, you gotta see the bigger picture. But I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. This this set did have me stressed out. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. I'm using my favorite products. Of course, I have a few nail brands that I love. The black and white are by Nails and Dev. Um, I think it's bad as black and maybe the baddest white. Shoot, I don't even know the exact specific name. <laughs> Actually, I'm so lying. I think it's the baddest black and white out <laughs> or lights out. <laughs> Y'all just look up, look up nails by doves, <laughs> black and white. Either way, her black and white is 10 out of 10. Like it's been my go-to lately. 
don't sleep on her the blue is number 28 by the beauty pure their gel polishes are great as well i love them too um and the beige that i'm using is my nude base my go-to if you're new here i always use Agile beauty cozy cashmere and ruffle trim so just go ahead and buy you about five six of those because honey i use that color for every single set that has a french a base a whatever it works on every skin tone okay so those are a few of the products that i use that little red right there is from the christmas bundle from beetles oh i love me some beetles too i do i do i do this liner brush is by nails by dev it's called i show it later in the video it's called the love i want to say love liner look that up also it comes in a set a pink and a purple one on nails by dev's website as well as i'm just using a dotting tool from amazon and a beetles liner brush for when i do my frenchies your girl is just she's just getting so good she's getting so good and i'm just having a blast that's how you know this is what you meant to do like when your work quotation mark is fun okay that's when you found your passion that's when it really hit today is my first day using my airbrush machine i love her too um i did struggle with having to figure out how to clean it <laughs> but yeah i just ran water through it and i'm using airbrush paint it's linked in my amazon storefront if you're looking for that specific paint it is airbrush paint so it just dries no curing it's not gel polish so just airbrush paint i poured it in there and then i poured water and i just kept on squeezing until all the water came out and it looked kind of clear so the next time i use my airbrush machine we'll find out if i broke it um, and I'll be purchasing another one. But my airbrush machine is from iGel Beauty and she's cute pink and yeah, I love her. Look how cute Coraline came out. It's so cute, so cute, so cute. And as you can see, it wasn't perfect every time. Like the eyeballs they I kept messing up on. I'm using Young Nail Swipe to just wipe it off. That's been my go-to lately. I used to use um strictly acetone and I still do love to use acetone. It will dry out your brushes. Everyone will tell you do not use acetone. But I like how it cleans up. It's just crisp. Acetone cleans real crisp. But I've been doing better. And using Young Nail Swipe. Which is a mix of alcohol and acetone. It is perfect for prep as well. Like cleaning any debris off the nails. And before application. A lot of people use it with acrylic as well. But... With Gelex, no, 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 we don't, um, we don't have to. You don't have to use it the same way that they use it for acrylic. So after they lay their acrylic buff file, then they would clean it up with, um, Young Nail Swipe. But after you, like here, I'm going to basically start prepping this hand because I just wanted to record one hand because for one, storage was running low. So I was like, let me hurry up and get one hand recorded because it's pretty much the same thing on both hands. So I'm only showing you guys each nail design once, but I'm going to show you the um, different nail designs on the other hand um this thumb for whatever reason i'm assuming it's how she had her hand in the lamp was not curing like when i tell you it wasn't curing it was really stressing me out i ended up just going with black like i don't know what was happening with the way she had her thumb in there and when i did the other hand i did it off camera i just had i put the lamp on top of the arm stand and just had her put her thumb in flat so to make sure that it cured like 100 percent because i don't know how she was turning her hand because we was watching um netflix so i don't know what she had going on but yeah that thumb was it was really stressing me out so i went with a different design and that's the fun part about nail art there's no right or wrong way to do it do what works for you and baby make it work and that's what we did so i ended up coming up with um some type of <laughs> marble design like with um i used a base coat i used that's some model one's base coat 
I have a blooming gel. Was it near? No. So we, like I said, we make it work, make it work. So here's where I switched to Nails by Dose Black and we decided to just go to Black Thumb because it just couldn't get right. I don't know what was happening with that nail, but she wasn't trying to work with me. So we had to make something else work. But basically all I did was mix a little bit of blue with the colors on my nail plate, which you can't really see, but I have basically all the colors you've seen me do the nail art with. I just mixed it with a little bit of white and added, so I did with the blue first and then I added white streaks in and just let it bloom. Let it do its thing and we just cured it. I thought it came out really cute, really easy, quick, simple design. So the hardest part was because I was doing a design with different designs on each nail. That was probably the hardest part, like trying to figure that out. But here, I'm going to go in one more time and show you guys the French. I'm really liking a low French. That has been my new favorite. Like I really love how the low French, just like that length right there, comes out. Like I was in love with that French. But for the nail design, I felt like I needed more French. And on the other hand, that's why I started to pull the other hand out. I had more French on there. So we went ahead and added a little more French. And then we went in with the same swirls. I did my best to show you guys the design without my hand blocking it, which was very kind of, it was very hard to do because I really need the nails like at my eyeball when I'm working but I did my best to kind of show you guys how I was working from this angle and here we are just painting in with the cat I did forget to put the pupil on the cat and low key I should have went back and did it I'm not gonna lie to you but my mom doesn't even know <laughs> this movie <laughs> She, she really, really, my biggest supporter, she let me do whatever. She really don't even know this movie. But I was like, man, after I top coated y'all, I top coated and was like, I forgot the pupils. She was like, well, you said it's Halloween, so it's okay. Just forget it. So honestly, we just forgot it. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. We just, we just went with it and yeah, she's her. She's my little custom, my little custom set. Okay, and another question, like, so what sets are we doing in November? Like, are y'all watching fall videos? Or are we jumping straight into Christmas designs? Because low-key, I'm trying to jump into Christmas designs. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. But do you guys want to see another um, Halloween spooky set? Because I'm trying to think if I can get one more out to you guys before Halloween. In eight days I mean I have a lot of videos to put up to you guys but I think the next set that I'm posting let me look oh I lied I do have another spooky set to post I gotta edit another video for you guys I have another beginner friendly video which if you're new to my channel we love to make beginner friendly videos because the girl has got to start somewhere and if this is where you want to start you can start here but this set <laughs> it was definitely um a little bit challenging but i want to say it's still beginner friendly some people are probably going to disagree but i still think this set's a little a little bit beginner friendly because i really didn't do anything crazy honestly i mean i did a little cat with the dotting tool like i'm using simple tools like I feel like hard nail art is whenever they're doing shading and you know they're just using 50,000 brushes and they're adding all these tiny details baby we don't get into that <laughs> it's not getting that deep yet not yet I want to get there eventually but I'm just simple nail art I like to make simple nail art that goes crazy and this is one of those sets so if you've made it this far like comment and subscribe besties until next time Mommy, still got love for your mommy I know you wanna be somebody Even if you gotta leave somebody